Hello and uh, welcome back to uh, my channel uh, doing a review on the Lenovo Z5070 <coughs> Oops, sorry um, I do have to apologise for those of you that have been commenting on my channel and I haven't been getting back to you asking me to show you uh, more gaming reviews of more intense games um, I will have to say I haven't had a camcorder since then um, I've actually been at university doing a lot of work, uh, doing a lot of animation, um, a lot of stuff to do in my course and I just haven't had the time. Um, but I'm now back, uh, back home from uni for Christmas, uh, had a lovely Christmas, hope you lot have too. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. Uh, I've lined up a couple of games, um, for you that, um, everyone's asking me to do Dota 2, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> I'm not going to play Dota 2, because I hate Dota. I absolutely hate it, can't play it. But I hope some of the games that I'm going to bring to you now are a lot more um, a lot more graphically enhanced. Uh, basically a lot better for to show you, really. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So uh, the game... Uh, what game shall we do? I, I reckon I'm going to show you, uh, let's see, Metro Redux. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you Metro Redux. And I'm going to use an Xbox 360 controller. I'm sorry if you lot get a glare in this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this down. Because uh, this is a pirated version, I don't actually have a book. It doesn't allow me to turn it down unless I go into the actual game. Um, yeah, those of you that don't know what Metro Redux is, it's, for, it's part of the new series of the uh, um, new installment into the Metro series. Uh, I believe the last one was 2033. And basically what you are, you, you're part of the Russian uh, thing after a post-apocalyptic world. And um, and yeah, it's actually a very good game. You're always you're always in a metro area, and sometimes you go above ground and you kill all these mutant people, like mutant things that um, don't like the light. So you have a you have a light. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this down. Uh, let's just turn it down a little bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's actually a very good game. The graphics are very good. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, video quality. I've got it all on medium, but it is running at 1080p, um, which is actually very good. I've got uh, SSA off, so I've got all the anti-aliasing off, because um, that really does decrease your um, frame rate, uh, which is quite important for this laptop, because it's obviously it's a laptop and it's not going to have the best frame rate in the world, but this runs at about... 40 to 50 frames this game does uh, which is actually quite decent for a laptop uh, given it is a laptop um, at the moment it's not overclocked um, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue this game I'm going to show you what it's like those clouds moved in fast So at the moment, I'm following this guy who is a uh, German, a Nazi German, and naturally we are enemies. Uh, we will kill each other if we see each other, um, but at the moment we got captured by uh, another clan, uh, and in order to, to get out and survive, me and this German guy had to uh, stick together and survive. So at the moment I am with him and we're just trying to get away, uh, trying to get away before it turns dark, uh, otherwise the, these things just keep coming towards us. And in order to be outside you need to, uh, you need to be able to change air filters. But this fucking place of death is this is 
radiation zone. Let's go out to the light. And they do need to be changed every now and again. So Check you can see the graphics thing. really aren't bad at all. Graphics are really quite decent. I'm sorry if I've got this uh, this light that I'm flickering on and off uh, right now. Um, I can't seem to figure out how to switch that off on this camcorder. Um, just go ahead and take all this. There we go. Um, not overly sure where to go. There are these zombie things. They're not zombies. I haven't played much of this game, um, but so far it's actually quite good. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Not sure where he just asked me to go, but. So after this, I'm going to show you Are FIFA you 15 for you, you FIFA fans. Uh, I'm personally a FIFA fan, Arsenal Are fan. Uh, don't judge. Um, I really want to show you some proper gameplay. Um, you can't really see the contrast is not very good on this camera. Um, I'm not sure if it's a light. Um, yeah. Coming into a flashback now. Ah, 
Okay, so that was uh, some Metro Redux. Um, I will be honest, this is a torrented game. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was just a nice quick look at that. Uh, I'll quickly give you a little show on FIFA 15. This isn't a torrent. <laughs> it's loading up Origin. I don't know why it always loads up Origin, but okay. Right. So those of you that have gone on to next-gen consoles such as the Xbox One and the PS4, um, everyone has had. Everyone knows that on FIFA 15. Well, throughout all of FIFA's, the gameplay is sort of different between an Xbox One and a PS4. Um, and nobody knows why. I'm not sure whether EA decided to do it like that, or it's just the way the console runs. Um, no one's quite sure, but I can honestly say, I, I've, never, I've never really noticed that much of a difference. Um, but I will say there is a whole lo load of difference between... The Xbox One um, and the PS4 compared to the PC, <coughs> and it's a lot harder. It's a lot. It's a lot harder on on the PC, um, but the frame rates that you get are just absolutely amazing. That like, because it feels just so much more smooth. It feels so much smoother than the Xbox One and the PS4. Um, I'm just going to go with my trusty Arsenal against some crappy random team. Um, I'm only showing you. But uh, if you if you plug most people on... You could plug uh, an Xbox 360 controller straight into a PC and it would automatically register. You don't need an emulator tool such as a DS3 tool um, in order to get it working. You just plug it in and it's working straight away. Um, but if you are planning on using a PC and use a PS3 or a PS4 controller, uh, you're going to need a DS3 tool which um, requires you to install drivers, um, all that all that sort of malarkey. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it now. Not quite sure why there's no sound, but um, yeah. I have not played FIFA in a long time, people, so I do apologise. I'm always working. For any of you Arsenal fans, what about it? Oh, okay. Ah. So, yeah, to you Arsenal fans, uh, how about that Alexis Sanchez signing? Oh, what a signing he was.
couldn't quite execute that shot. The gameplay is very smooth and you really do notice the slight details in this game. Like for example when they're playing the replays you can see water being kicked up from the pitch or grass that's been sort of grounded into as the players run over it. It's, it's really amazing. You see the sweat like dripping down them sometimes. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And this goalkeeper is very, very good. I'll give you an, I'll give you an example of a. Uh, See the water being kicked up from their feet. It's actually quiet. It's very good. Very, very good. Uh, the detail is very amazing on this game. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just end this match. Um, for those of you that are interested in other games such as... Uh, Racing games, I've got both Grid 2 and Grid Autosport, been playing them, absolutely amazing games. Uh, I've also got a Tesso Corsa, or Seto Corsa even, um, that's also a very good game, and that's more developed for the Oculus Rift, uh, which is something I don't have, but I have access to um, from my university, which is very good. Um, I've got Alien Isolation, which is a shit scary game. I'm not even lying. Uh, I do also have uh, Outlast. For those of you that know Outlast, may not. Um, but Outlast is a, also another shit scary game. Um, not sure if you've noticed, but I've also got Dying Light um, background poster, which is coming out in January. Cannot wait for that. Um, but what I am going to show you, I'm going to show you Far Cry 4. And uh, that's not how I wanted to load this, because this is a torrented one. Um, which I don't want to do, don't want to do, uh, so I have to load it a certain way, uh, which is quite annoying, um, but the graphics on this game are absolutely astounding, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just quit that, um, fortunately the way I have to open this is, yes I know Far Cry 4 isn't working, <laughs> Uh, no, that's FIFA. So in order, in order to get this this game to work, I have to open the file location. Oh, sorry, that is my cat trying to get in the way and get attention from me, as I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, you have to go down to the EXE and you have to run that as administrator, um, which gets quite annoying after a while. But I don't really play it that much to be able to do it. But I have completed the game. Um, the reason why I have to run it as administrator is because it has the administrat uh, administrator privilege, uh, beg your pardon, privileges um, to be able to run a saved game. Um, if you don't, then you'll find that you don't actually have a saved game, which is, in the end, quite annoying. Let's just try and get this into full screen. Okay, that was a bit glitchy. For those of you that do have trouble... Ooh, 
For those of you that do have trouble getting games into full screen sometimes, especially when they're a torrented game, uh, all you need to do is just click Alt and Enter. Uh, do not click Alt Grab, because uh, that won't work. But um, those of you that don't know the Far Cry series, Far Cry is basically... It's a typical Ubisoft game. I will say that it's a typical Ubisoft game where you have to unlock certain parts of the map to be able to go to a high point and survey, sort of like Assassin's Creed where you had to go all the way up to the top of a tower. And why I think my computer is actually having a bit of a hissy fit at the moment. Just try that again. Um, but the guns are very customizable. Uh, they don't have the gun jam anymore, which is a uh, I find a lot better because I always just get really annoyed in Far Cry 2 when your gun would actually jam up um, after a while. After a while, um, but the storyline in this is actually very good, very very good. It's one of those. It's a game where. The ending is dependent on how you play the game, but usually ends up in the exact same way of how you actually play the game. Um, so where am I going? Uh, the best weapon, which honestly I love to pieces, uh, I do not have. Let's go back into here. Is the bow and arrow? Where is it? Where's that? Ah. So you want the recurve bow, which is honestly just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And in order to, uh, mostly the recurve bow is used for hunting. So you'll find animals and basically kill them and flesh their skin. Um, am I going to get attacked by an eagle? No, he's getting attacked by a bear. Ooh. And he's dead. And I'm going to get attacked by a bear as well. The good thing about this is I can click, uh, collect all the arrows back again. So the reason why you skin the animals is so you can actually um, craft out of their flesh, um, which makes it a lot easier to be able to, well all, all these things that you can craft will allow you to carry more ammo, so an ammo bag, or it can allow you to have a bigger wallet, um, it entirely depends, but you have to, for each upgrade that you do, you have to uh, kill certain animals which are on certain areas of the map so you'll see there there's a snow leopard uh, there's the pig uh, yak Asian rhino, the rhinos are just impossible to kill um, but every now and again you have to uh, do these outposts and these outposts are controlled by an enemy um, an enemy clan or just the casual enemy uh, who basically own that area and uh, these these things right here are the bell towers, and the bell towers are they have a radio on top of it, um, which you have to destroy or basically take over, try and take over their frequency, and then you'll be able to unlock a, a larger area of the map. Uh, as you can see, I've already I've actually already completed the entire game, uh, storyline wise, uh, but I haven't actually. Uh, I've got two more bell towers to help oh, free, and yeah basically do all that but the the game the game itself is actually absolutely amazing uh, I mean it's all it's like snowing sometimes or I mean you got molotovs throwing knives like you could just do all these amazing things the, the, the driving the driving um, capabilities aren't very that good because it's not easy to drive with these um, if you've ever played a Far Cry game, we're always the same. You just hold the, f the analog stick forward and then sort of steer with that same analog stick. Um, 
you don't use anything else. Which is quite quite annoying after a while. But um I mean guns and everything look absolutely amazing the lighting is just absolutely brilliant, especially it performs well on this um PC. Um every now and again I am you will see like judders because this laptop isn't actually in charge and all normally performs a lot better when it's on uh, at power outlet but my power outlet can't reach but as you can see it's just absolutely amazing Here's one of the bell towers that I've uh, previously liberated. Um, but there is someone that's spotted me that doesn't want me here. Ah. Oh, that's a nice headshot. With games like this that are graphic heavy, um, the laptop seems to get really, really hot. Um, it still performs well, but you need to keep it so it's well ventilated. So, i.e. on a table, uh, where it, like a flat wooden table or a metal table where the breeze can literally just walk away. Well, not walk away, but sort of drift away and uh, keep it wet, just to keep it cool. Or unless you have a fan that you can use that. Um, but yeah, it, it's... The graphics are absolutely amazing and it does perform at a very decent level. Um, let's see if I can wingsuit and parachute. So in order to heal yourself in this game, you have to sort of, if you haven't got any adrenaline shots, then you have to do this. I'm very disappointed with this healing process because sometimes if you get attacked by an eagle, uh, which does actually happen, and now and then an eagle will come down and swoop onto you and attack you. Um, and then to heal yourself, if you haven't got an adrenaline shot, you normally have to take an arrow out of your arm. That doesn't seem logical or a bullet um, and then wrap it up it doesn't seem logical at all um, but yeah the scenery is just absolutely amazing uh, with this game in particular I normally average it about 30 to 40 frames a second um, that's okay um, I'm not really fussy about that, uh, some of you pro gamers, well pro PC gamers might be like, oh that shit, uh, blah blah blah, it's actually not, it's actually quite, it's alright for people who are starting to get into PC gaming such as I, um, I mean I've only been into PC gaming for the, ever since I bought this laptop which was a few months ago, um, but yeah. Uh, anyway guys, uh, I'm going to leave that to how it is and yeah, um, anyone who's got any questions uh, about laptop or about its about the performance or anything like that then feel free to leave a comment below um, or even if you've got a suggestion on what game I should do next or if you've got um, any comments to say about my recordings, uh, if they're good, if they're not, um, feel free. Uh, it's always good to get a bit of feedback from you guys but yeah um, thank you very much uh, and subscribe if you want to see some more thank you very much and bye bye